Hello everyone, Van Gell here. Today I want to talk about the statement, he has a point, and why I find this statement to be a trap. I often find this statement mentioned among those who have higher agreeableness than others, as it is said in response to a statement of fact, true, but in the state situation where ignoring a principle at hand that should not be ignored, we'll use a small example of, let's say, someone's stopping in multiple games in a pod in Commander. Somebody finds it a little bit strange why they keep winning so much, especially when they're rushing out their strategy very consistently multiple times when nobody has established anything yet. Player in question responds with, just run more removal. If you remove it, I can't go as crazy. To which... A high agreeableness person, player B, says, Well, he has a point. That's true. You could. However, that doesn't supersede the situation at hand of somebody who's stomping multiple games in a row. That perhaps the issue is that player wants to stomp players. When in fact, maybe the question should be asked, could you try a different deck? This may be the other three players want to try the decks they're playing instead of dealing with a higher powered player all the time. As having and expecting turn zero or turn one removal stat shouldn't be expected in a casual pod. We'll use another basic example. Let's say someone steals a pencil from you. You confront them to get your pencil back and their response is, it's just a pencil. And then a person next to them says, he has a point. Again, it is a mostly factual statement or at least appears to be a factual statement but that again doesn't supersede the principle of someone taking something from you as if you agree with the person who says oh it's just a blah 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 about it just being a statement of fact that they have quote a point that will snowball into you having high agreeableness in the future of always agreeing blindly with these statements instead of having the courage to ask the questions at hand that you truly need to ask, which is they shouldn't take it to begin with, taking anything from you without asking. Because you also have to remember there are many statements that could be made where he has a point, can be responded to, but shouldn't be. Let's say the person who took your pencil instead says, he shouldn't have let me. Again, the statement, he has a point, can follow that and fit. You know what also follows that and fits? The sky is blue. The grass is green. It doesn't matter if they say a statement that you agree with, because the point is they're distracting from the problem at hand so they can try to get away with it. Don't be afraid to ask the questions you need to ask to get to the real point instead of allowing yourself to become distracted by these statements, especially when a bystander responds with the problematic statement that is, he has a point. You know what else has a point? A Sharpie. It is not a very good point. That's all for the day. You all have a good one.